Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Sarah and in this video I will be explaining the key differences between NVIDIA's RTX and GTX GPU series. All of NVIDIA's gaming orientated GPUs belong to their GeForce GPU brands. The GeForce 20 series is comprised exclusively of RTX GPUs and the GeForce 16 series is comprised solely of GTX GPUs. GPUs. So, what do those letters mean? RTX and GTX are not abbreviations but branding indications as to what kind of performance a GPU can offer. All of the latest 20 series and 16 series GPUs come with an RTX and a GTX designation. The NVIDIA Turning GPU architecture powers both the GeForce RTX 20 series and the GTX 16 series cards and brings exceptional performance, efficiency and as well as the next generation shading technology to the latest games. GTX GPUs are indeed weaker but more of a budget option than the RTX GPUs but that is by design. The new RTX designation was introduced mainly for the sake of marketing so RTX GPUs come across as a big step forward from the GTX. The letter designation RTX was inspired by GeForce 20 series most marketable new feature real-time ray tracing. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX platform offers real-time ray tracing and AI. With stunning accurate lighting like shadows, reflections, refractions and global illuminations for more realistic scenes. While only RTX cards have the RT and Tensor cores, the GTX 16 series uses the shared turning architecture to offer huge leads in performance. Making use of turning, co-current floating points, Integra operations, advanced shading, including variable rate shading to deliver higher frame rates with lower power consumption. GTX cards excel at both immersive and competitive gaming, providing great experiences in popular titles like Fortnite, Overwatch and Counter-Strike. And for retro gaming, turning brings hardware Integra scaling for crisp pixel art. Gamers looking for a GPU for traditional games can grab a GTX card for amazing performance and value. In conclusion, the RTX designation is a marketing statement. To make the 20 series turning GPUs seem like a bigger upgrade than they actually are. The RTX does introduce two major new elements, but as far as raw performance is concerned, they are pretty much on par with with the older Pascal-based GTX GPUs that come with a similar price tag. So all in all, the RTX GPUs are not worth getting just for the ray tracing and the DLSS alone, and performance per dollar should always come first, especially if you want to get the best value for your money. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for some suggestions on RTX or GTX GPUs, then please look down in our description where there are some links links to ones that we suggest. Also there is a link down there for our WePC website where you will find so much information that could help you in choosing the right GPU for you. Please give us a like and a subscribe while you're down there and hit the notification bell and if you look over here there's gonna be a video that we know you're going to enjoy. Thanks again guys.